I just got back from a hunt for red garnets with some really knowledgeable people from the North Bay Rock and Mineral Club. I don't have video of the actual hunt because it's their spot. <laughs> but I do have some garnets. See that? <laughs> Hangs out of a bathing suit of an old man. <laughs> anyway, uh, that'll have two garnets in it. Got some larger ones, which I'm really excited to open up and see see what it looks like. Plus, uh, there we go, a big pile of others. And in this particular location, they are red. Now, when you first dig it out of the ground, it looks dirty, but you can. In some cases, pick a corner and rub it, and you can see the red peeking through. Can you see it there? Yeah, a little bit, eh? So, and they've told me how to even ones with the most of the muscovite, it's kind of a mica, warrant uh, that's been removed from it, how to clean these things up completely. So I'm going to try their process, and because I can't leave it alone, and i got lots to play with, I got a couple of tweaks to their process that I'd like to try. So let's do it together. All right, so again, if you look at these rocks, the bulge in there will be the garnet, and this is muscovite that's over it. If you're in the field, you just put it over a rock and hit it with your rock hammer. In this case, I'm using a rubber mallet on top of a board. And then All you do is you hit it on its side and what you're trying to do is make the muscovite split. So I did get some off, but not as much as I wanted. Let's try the other one. There we go, that's a better scene. Ah, now, see that? There's not much to it. So let's keep it going. Okay, one last try with this one. See the round garnet up in here, and then the pancake of the muscovite around it. Well, look at that. <laughs> Where's my little red button? Because that was easy. Huh. So what I was told to do is take regular sand, about half full in the tumbler, and add a single garnet. Now this is just sand from my daughter's sandbox. Less, of course, any turds from the neighbor's cat. <laughs> and uh, to let this run for an hour, and it is supposed to remove any of the mica that I couldn't take off manually by just, you know, whacking it with a hammer. So let's, uh, let's give this a run. Okay, it's been over an hour. Let's give this a little look-see. Where are you? There it is. So, well, I still see some mica on there. Muscovite. So that wasn't completely good, but let's rinse it off and see how it looks. Okay, so it kind of worked, yeah. but it didn't take off the nasties. Um, okay, tell you what I'm going to do is maybe I misunderstood 
and what I should put in is a garnet that has the majority of the muscovite already removed manually. Let's do that. Let's see you in an hour. Okay, so here's the rock out of the sand and another one that I did. Um, it makes them better, but they're kind of rough, eh? Okay, let's let's try tweaking this process a bit. All right, so here's one with a little bit of the red garnet exposed and dirty, and then some of this mica on it. Put it in there, and I'm going to add drill remix. So it's stainless steel dr uh, uh, drill remix. Lots of different shapes and sizes that get in all the cracks and crevices. It's one pound into a three pound tumbler. There we go. A little squirt of dish soap. A little bit of water. There we go. Let's button it up and see if that doesn't work better. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and I'm starting to run out of daylight. So let's have a quick peek. Where are you? There we go. Let me rinse it off. There we go. This garnet happens to be a bit weathered on this side. Some of the that muscovite has been removed, but not all. So it's kind of working. So I had a thought. Here's another one that looks a lot brighter in the area that I rubbed. See that? Um, what I think I'd like to do is add it to the mix and do two at the same time. Now they're going to bump into each other a little bit, which probably isn't ideal. But hey, look, this is an experiment, isn't it? And I think I'll give it, well, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we'll come back. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Let's reach down into this mess. Rinse off my garnets, rinse off the soap. Let's see how it looks. Well, it's not bad. I think that's the better process. Okay, so there we go. There's the end result. Can you tell which two were in sand and which two were in jewelry mix? If you have any other ideas of things I should have tried or could have done different, let me know. Thanks for watching.